So, yes, hello. As my time is already up, uh, I will try to be brief. Uh, my name is Bernard. Um, many of you know me from the SMWCon 2014 in Vienna, so I organized it. Uh, I'm a user of Semantic Media Wiki and a, uh, yeah, I'm not a, a, a programmer, so this, this talk will be not technical. Um, my daily job is at the Center for Public Administration Research. Uh, we do consulting, training, and uh, research for public administrations. Uh, and there we use Semantic Media Wiki uh, on a regular basis for different web projects. I'm also a member of the uh, Open Knowledge uh, Austria, the Austrian chapter, um, and of course, a member of the SMW community uh, since a very long time, actually. Um, <laughs> what I want to point out, my, the, the name of the talk is Semantic Media Week and Open Data. So I put this open data badge on, on top of Alexander's great Semantic Media Week box. Uh, and I want to tell you why. Um, you can use this open data badge if you have a, a Semantic Media Wiki that is publicly available and uh, displays data on the web. You can use that to show, well, I have open data to, to display. Uh, but first, uh, I want to show you, um, or uh, I want to talk about a little bit the, uh, about the, uh, a very interesting project I, I did, and I'm still working on it. It's the Vienna History Wiki. Um, it is interesting in uh, many aspects. One is that the first idea was not to set up a wiki. The first idea, the initial problem was there is a uh, uh, a six-volume uh, encyclopedia, printed en encyclopedia, and the, the last volume already was a updated volume. So the volume one to five were were done first, and then the, the sixth one is an, uh, was updating older articles. Uh, and it was released in 2004, and the danger was that the, the knowledge of these books would would just go away because uh, there would not be uh, uh, a the updated printed version. So uh, when a city administration uh, was uh, was thinking about how to how to conserve this or um, how to put this uh, on the internet, luckily they found SMW, um, and uh, we did a, a project. Uh, it's live since uh, I think uh, two years. Um, you can look it up. This is the Vienna History Wiki. It is about historical persons, places, um, organizations, events, all that, uh, with a context of Vienna. Um, if you look at the original entry uh, on the top right, you can see uh, this is not very uh, elaborate. So it was very, a very concise uh, encyclopedia. And if you now look at the corresponding wiki page, you can also see that it's not uh, just this, this text uh, on a wiki site, but there was a lot of manual effort put in to enhance these articles, uh, enhance it with, with uh, uh, metadata and also with pictures and all that. So um, a lot of work went into this from the Vienna City Administration also. So why is this project special? Um, first, uh, I talked about the process. It was about digitizing a printed encyclopedia, at, at least as the first base content. Um, it's also the size. I mean, there are bigger wikis around, but I think it's the uh, largest uh, city wiki now uh, with 36,000 articles. Um, so it's, it's, it's quite big. Um, interesting is also the, the governance approach. So it's not an uh, it is a, basically an open wiki, you, so, so you can you can go to the you, you can sign up for a user account and, and edit, but your edit will not be uh, shown immediately. We use this uh, approved refs uh, for that, so there is a uh, editorial team that would check the edits before they are visible. It is of course uh, semantic. I don't have to tell you this. Um, the open data aspect was not really uh, part of the initial idea, so. Um, and this is what I, I mean. Why is uh, Semantic uh, Media Wiki so great for open data? Because it just, it's, it's just there, it's out of the box. It just comes with, with the system. So data can be exported, of course, and can be put in an open data catalog and all that. And what I would like to point out is, because you cannot see it uh, from, from the wiki, is 
this open government approach and it, it also changes administrative processes so it's not just a wiki to be displayed for the public to see um, it is the central historical knowledge database of the city of Vienna um, and one example is uh, what that changed is uh, until 2014 they, uh, uh, one, one department of the city of Vienna um, issued uh, a, a PDF document, a, a printed version, uh, some hundred pages long, it's called uh, Gedenktage Index, so Memorial Day Index, so that, that means what a, a person has his 150th uh, anniversary of birth or death in the year 2014, so that different departments could say, well, oh, there's the Mozart something and we could do something uh, in this year or next year will be this anniversary. Um, this was also done in an, in an uh, old database application and this is now turned off. So they derive the data for their uh, Memorial Day Index now electronically from the Semantic Media Wiki and they don't have the printed version uh, any longer. So uh, this really changes also administrative procedures. Uh, what are uh, the news? We, we just uh, did a software upgrade or the uh, IT department of the City of Vienna did it. For media wiki 122 to 23 and semantic media wiki 2.3 uh, we now have some specialized uh, widgets, uh, widgets for uh, embedding videos from uh, Viennese sources um, we have the feature of image annotation it's not used yet but it uh, probably uh, will be used in the next future uh, we use maps and semantic maps but we use it with uh, a special uh, map service that's called basemap.at so if you ever come across the, the, the possibility or the opportunity of doing some mapping in Austria, you can use this base map. Um, it's, a, uh, it's the best map you can, you can get from Austria. Um, and we also have the, the uh, responsive skin again here, uh, chameleon skin. Thank you, Stefan, for that. We're not using it yet, but we will. So it's, uh, it's going to take some time, but we have the software ready now. So and the open data approach is also can lead to additional things. So this is not inside the wiki. This uh, is a, an export of data of persons who were born uh, outside of Vienna and are still historical relevant persons. So Mr. Schauer obviously was born in Frankfurt and moved uh, not to Vienna and died there. So you can display this on the map. Uh, this is uh, a nice benefit if you have open data. Um, others can do uh, interesting stuff with it. The second thing I want to talk to you about is, is not the Vienna uh, History Wiki project, but open data in general. Um, many uh, uh, authorities, ministries, municipalities, cities are doing open data these days. They need not only software for their external data catalog, where, where you can go and, 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 and consume the data, but they need some kind of system for setting up an internal data catalog. So they must decide what data do I have, where is it, in what quality is it, where, can I publish it or not. Um, and of course for this, um, uh, SMW is a great choice. Um, for the external part, I think uh, the, the match has been lost to CCAN. I don't, I don't know, if you, I don't know if, you, if you know CCAN. is a great open source tool mm -hmm. done by Open Knowledge uh, UK. Um, so that's, that's settled. <laughs> I would say there are some, some other uh, software solutions around. I think SMW could be an external data portal. Of course, it has probably everything it needs, but uh, de facto standard is CCAN. <coughs> but for the internal part, I have not come across an, an agency who would use CCAN internally. Um, so they, they are sending around Excel files, they maybe might use their own content management systems, um, or they could use Semantic Media Wiki. So and this uh, is what I did in a project called uh, OGD Cockpit, Open Data Cockpit. Uh, I've developed now two prototypes. Um, one is for 43 municipalities in, in Germany, in North Rhine-Westphalia, and the other is for all municipalities in Brandenburg, so it's, it's a, a, a prototype, but the, the uh, Brandenburg will uh, uh, provide this for all their municipalities. So, and basically they can add information about available data in their in the municipalities, they can have internal data catalog where, just, where they're uh, still discussing, can we publish it, can we not, maybe we will never publish this, or, and they also have a published uh, uh, data catalog. 
and there are ratings based on criteria. How can we how can we uh, think about uh, criteria uh, that that give us uh, a clue on why or why not uh, a data set can be published? So SMW uh, can facilitate this process of setting up an internal data catalog. So um, and it's important in, in my in my view that this data monitoring should be collaborative. So different departments say, I have this data catalog, I have this one, and the other department should also see what they are doing, why they, uh, they are rating it according to this. Um, also, um, in these two, two projects where many municipalities use one, one uh, installation, they, they can look into the data catalog, also the internal data catalog of the other municipality and say, oh, uh, that's right, they, also, they have this data, we should have this data too. Why are they rating it uh, that low? We don't have a problem of, of issuing that. So that can, can be facilitated with SMW. And uh, also a, a transparency issue is that also the internal data catalog should actually be published, not the data itself, because there will always be classified data that you cannot publish, but the existence of the data and uh, information on this data should be public that, so that people know okay, what kind of data sets are available in inside an authority. So SMW is a great tool for facilitating this. Um, yeah, so I want to summarize. Um, SMW produces open data by design. It was, it was actually uh, designed to do that, to, to display data on the web um, using semantic web standards. If you're not a semantic web guy, you're not interested in that, uh, but you can, uh, you, you can also use uh, the JSON or CSV or, or whatever. Um, if you uh, apply an open license to that, then you have open data, so that's great. SMW can also consume open data, for example, with the external data extension, but this is not the topic of this talk. Um, and it can facilitate uh, organizational processes. In my example that I just showed you is identifying, describing and rating uh, data sets inside an organization. It could be many others. Uh, you have uh, uh, shown uh, different use cases project management, uh, whatever uh, you have. So it's a, it's a very nice tool. And thank you. Uh, I, I'm happy if, if you have questions. Yes, on the back. Uh, very interesting talk, thank you very much. Can you say something about uh, the workflow you did from the printing to the SMW, from the encyclopedia? What yeah. steps had you done? Yes, um, the only, database? Yeah. Um, only a little bit because I wasn't involved in that, so the, the, the digitizing was done in the IT department of the city of Vienna. Uh, and the result were, were, were uh, I think, uh, RTF files and the <laughs> The good and bad situation at the same time was you could not automatically import it. Uh, not so much uh, for, for, for technical reasons, but for reasons that this, this type of, of text here, um, you can see, um, and uh, on the bottom they had uh, abbreviations, and the abbreviations meant something different uh, on the, dependent on the type of article it was. So it, there was no possibility of, of automating this. So they, did, they decided we need people to read this article and understand the article and copy paste it. So there was no, uh, uh, no automatic import or anything, um, but people really uh, copy and paste it from this RTF document, from the scanned RTF document uh, to the semantic forms. So that's a, a good and a bad. Use. Uh, there was a second question, or was that the same? Thank you. Uh, how did you realize uh, the rating thing? Is it uh, just some values the user set, or is it in any way um, accumulated or calculated? This one? Um, well, this is uh, this is just um, uh, the user says that the effort, for example, here uh, has a value of four. So, and, and 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 I say it can be values from from zero to five, and uh, in the form it just adds four, and then it is displayed like this. Uh, 
uh, using the, the uh, bootstrap. So there's just one, one user that's raised? Yes, I mean, uh, another user could change this, of course, uh, and you would see uh, uh, what user has done the last, the last edit, so you, not only the version history, but also transparent on, on, the, on, the, on the front. Um, usually, they, they don't really uh, change that around a lot, so it's, it's more that one, one department that has this data set rates it, and maybe the, the person in charge of the open, open government initiative would maybe discuss it a little bit and change it one time, but then it usually stays fixed. The questions?